Thank you to the board for inviting us to speak. I'm Marianne Chance. I'm a ranger at the Skyline Field Office. And as I briefly tell you about my personal experience fighting the fire, I'm going to highlight a few key concepts. I'm going to talk about three T's, tenacity, teamwork, and training. And the first day that I was assigned to the fire, I had a fear of the unknown. I had a lot of questions in my mind. Simple questions like, do I have enough food and water with me today? Am I wearing the right clothing? And questions that went a little deeper. What am I gonna be assigned to do? And am I capable of doing it? I didn't have a lot of experience fighting fire on the first day that I was assigned to the CZU complex fire. I had done a couple of controlled burns and a few vehicle fires or power line fires that had started along Skyline Boulevard, but those were always easy to put out. So I had to take a deep breath on that first day, early in the morning as I arrived at the Skyline Field Office. I knew that this would be hard, but I told myself I can handle it. A little positive self-talk never hurts. And that was the tenacity, sheer grit. It's a quality of our field staff. So when I got there to the Skyline Field Office in the morning and we were all milling around and preparing our equipment, I sought out a teammate who had worked on the fire the day before. I thought that this might help with some of my anxiety and questions. And fortunately for me, that ranger had photos of the fire and the work that they had done the day before. So that I could actually see what I was going to get myself into. And as he told me about the experience and all the highlights that he had experienced from the fire the day before, it did start to calm me down and it helped me understand I really could do this. So uh, as we got our assignments, I was assigned to a group of three. There were three of us together and two of them had had experience on the fire already. That was awesome. Those were my teammates. And I said to them as we started working, don't leave me behind. <laughs> and they both agreed that they wouldn't. And you could see I was grappling with the anxiety of the life or death situation that we were getting ourselves into. That's the teamwork. Once we actually got started fighting the fire, my training and my familiarity with the equipment made me much more confident. I just felt like I was starting to do what I had been trained to do. And even though we were knocking down flare-ups as tall as the AO building at times, I felt like I got this. I'm well-trained. I'm here with people who know what they're doing. I can handle it. I still had that underlying anxiety. And honestly, I was relieved when that first day was over. But by the second day, it all started the same routine. And I had already had the on the job training and I knew what to expect and what was expected of me. This past year has just been one over the top event after another, and we're not done yet. We've all risen to the challenge again and again and again. You may not know it, but today is National First Responders Day. So I wanna take a moment to point out that the challenges we've experienced, challenges like COVID and fighting the fire and others, require field staff not only to rise to the challenge, but also to put their lives on the line, literally. And yeah, that's just part of the job, but we also do it to benefit the public for the safety, comfort, and enjoyment of our community. And I'm sure that all of us, every person listening to this board meeting has been asked to rise to a number of challenges this year. And we just keep doing it, right? That's the sheer strength of human spirit. So I wanna remind you of my three T's in conclusion. Fall back on your training, draw upon your inner strength and tenacity to get through this and rely on your team because we're all in this together. Thank you.